Jim Jeffrey show. What a treat visiting all the way from LA. Give it up for Lisa Curry. So he shut the whole thing in my mouth, I started crying. I was like, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> the one time you're not supposed to swallow. You know, like, I <laughs> never got that note before. <laughs> uh, I, adopted a, I adopted a puppy over quarantine. Anyone else? No one. Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> Life was pretty stressful, I assume, for you guys, too. <laughs> This, three bags of hot shit a day. That's what would fix this. <laughs> so I rescued a puppy. Um, of course I rescued. I live in Los Angeles, so it's like you have to rescue. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I love that term, by the way. I love when people are like, oh, you rescued a dog? Oh my god, that's so sweet. You rescued a dog? I'm like, yeah. I uh, went into a burning building to get her. Uh, <laughs> I'm a first responder now. That's what that's what it is. Like, you know what actually happened was I paid somebody too much money for something they found on the street. That's what really went down. I don't understand when people are like, you're rescuing a dog. I'm like, you found it for free. Just give it to me. That's the whole deal with shit that's on the side of the street. It's free. Always. <laughs> What's going on? You know, and the people that I adopted her from had the nerve to tell me, I, I live in Los Angeles again, and they were like, we got her from Tijuana. And I was like, you mean a three-hour drive? I could have saved myself $500? <laughs> Tell me you got it from outer fucking space or something. <laughs> Tell me this is a very exotic dog. So ridiculous. I uh, walk her around, of course, she needs walks. And uh, chicken bones, I don't know if you guys know this, apparently not a dog problem. Chicken bones are really bad for dogs, and uh, but they love them. And I'm realizing that living in a city, there's just chicken bones everywhere. It's like somebody sprinkling around trying to grow Popeyes or something. I'm like, and she'll snatch one up and I'm like, drop it. And she's like, I had this in Tijuana, you bitch. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you've been rescued, okay? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> My brother was making fun of me for having a dog in the city. He's like, I can't believe you have a dog in the city. You have to pick up its shit. <laughs> like, I don't mind. Honestly, I like it. Good for being real. Because here's the thing, I have an 8 pound German Shepherd, so I feel safe when I'm walking with my dog, and I feel safer when I'm walking with her and I've got a bag of her shit in my hand. <laughs> here's something I've never heard with a bag of dog shit in my hand. Don't let me give you this dick! Not once. <laughs> nobody stops, nobody even slows down, they just keep it moving. It's a real nice system. <laughs> the other day I was walking her and uh, she took a big dump. Like a huge one, which is weird because she doesn't even drink coffee. So I'm like, where is this coming from? You know? <laughs> and uh, I realized I didn't have any bags on me. And like, I, you know, I am a good neighbor. So I'm like, I'm going to pick it up. And uh, I'm pretty adventurous, but I'm not going to free hands some dog shit. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I'm going to go home and get some bags. So I go home, I put her in the house, I grab the bags, I come back, pick up her shit, realize now I've got no dog and a bag of dog shit. <laughs> Not a good look, guys. And I'm just like going home frantically picking up trash on my way, like just out here being a hero, you know, like a weird fetish or anything. <laughs> Ridiculous. I uh, I hate the term when people. It's always it's always middle-aged white guys. Sorry if uh, you fall into that classification. <laughs> I hate hearing. You just can't say anything anymore. I'm so fucking tired of it. <laughs> I hear this all the time. Like. Shows, dudes will come up to me and they're like, it's a heartbeat to comment. You can't say anything anymore. I'm like, you just saw me talk for 45 minutes. <laughs> I said a lot of things, turns out. <laughs> it's like such a ridiculous thing. First of all, you can't. You can not You can say all kinds of things. Shit, you could learn a new language. You can expand your vocabulary beyond the 15 words that you've got. <laughs> you know, I don't know why people are 
fighting so hard to say, it's always the awful words, by the way. Nobody's ever fighting to say something nice, you know? Nobody's ever like, oh, you just can't say I love you, your dad passed 40, it feels weird, you know? <laughs> they always want to say something horrible. It's like, why do you need so badly to say the word retard? Like, find another way to describe yourself. <laughs> It's like language evolves anyway. We don't use a lot of the same words because you sound like a dork. You're not saying like dumb degrees. You say jeans. Like relax, get over it. There's no, there's no such thing as cancel culture either. It's like that's not real. We have to fuck around and find out culture. That's what we have. <laughs> Just like figure out if you want to get slapped. You know, <laughs> weigh the odds. I'm a real big fan of the environment. Uh, <laughs> it's over with, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know I'm doing the thing, they tell you like, save water, piss in the toilet ten times before you flush it. So I just like, I have a cauldron of piss in my house at all times. <laughs> like I'm at fault and not Exxon Mobil. <laughs> like, I'll save the earth. <laughs> like I recycle as much as I can, you know, which is never because it's super inconvenient. <laughs> I was reading this article about the uh, Pacific Garbage Patch recently. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. It's just that you're not? That's wild. This guy's a bad dude. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's a giant patch of trash out in the ocean, right? And it's like twice the size of Texas now. It's enormous. And uh, all these scientists are really concerned. They're like, we got to get it out of the water and bring it on land. And it's like, okay, well, first of all, if I wanted the trash near me, I wouldn't have thrown it in the water in the first place. So get a clue. <laughs> you know, but they have this plan. They're like, we want to send out a couple of boats with a net and start scooping it out bit by bit. Like it's a school of tuna or something. It's like, guys, it's it's too big. It's twice the size of Texas. That would be like if your governor was like, everybody grab a handful of Colorado. We're just going to move it over a little bit. You know? <laughs> it makes equal sense. It's like, it's, it's game over. It's, not, it's too big. We're done. Leave it there. You know, I don't know why we're trying to get it out of the water at all. Like, it's, we got to stop calling it a patch, firstly. Like, it, it's too big. It's not a patch. A patch is what your grandpa has to move off the hole in the stove so he can smoke out of it, you know? <laughs> like, this thing is an island. I feel like instead of getting it out, we should just throw some dirt on it, stick a flag in it, and start sending people there, you know? <laughs> like, here you go. We've got a good place for you to live. We can send people there we don't like anymore. We don't want around anymore. Like, you don't want to vaccinate your kids? No problem. <laughs> no judgment at all. We've got a place for you to live. <laughs> Child molesters, we've got a place for you to live. Look, I'm going to put those two groups together because those kids aren't living long anyway, guys. It doesn't matter. 